One of the least famous pieces of free public art in Chicago is the Balbo Monument. It's a column from ancient Rome. It's about 2,000 years old. It was given to Chicago for the 1933 World's Fair held on Northerly Island. So why doesn't anybody visit it? Probably because it was a donation from Benito Mussolini. You know, the fascist dictator of Italy and ally of Adolf Hitler. In 1933, Chicago hosted the World's Fair, again. This was 40 years after they first hosted it in 1893, which would be hard to top because that one commemorated the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus discovering the New World, a year late. And it had the white city and the first Ferris wheel ever. But they tried. They made technological advancement the theme by naming it the Century of Progress World's Fair. World's Fairs were a bigger deal back then. They still have them now, but they're not as elaborate and are practically unnoticed by most normal people. Meh. But back then they were all the rage. So much so that the country that hosted it tried to outdo the last country that hosted it. Paris hosted it in 1889 and unveiled the Eiffel Tower. So in 1893, Chicago had to out Eiffel Eiffel by unveiling George Ferris's Ferris wheel. Nowadays, fairs are more concerned with what kind of new food they could put on a stick like Wisconsin's annual state fair. Benito Mussolini donated a Roman column that was made between 117 and 38 BC. It was shipped to Chicago on boat to commemorate the mass transatlantic flight. This mass flight was led by General Italo Balbo, another fascist politician and black shirts leader, who also has a street on the south side of the loop named after him. When it arrived to Chicago at the World's Fair, it was placed in front of the Italian Pavilion. It now stands just east of Soldier Field in Burnham Park. Burnham Park, by the way, is named after Daniel Burnham, the head architect of the 1893 World's Fair. The Balbo Monument is controversial for obvious reasons. It's amazing it survived Lori Lightfoot, who tore down Christopher Columbus statues in 2020. Besides people that love to protest, the column stands lonely, unvisited, and mostly unnoticed. I guess it's hard for a 2,000-year-old Roman column to compete with a shiny silver beam.